Hey, what is up? It is Taylor Grant. I'm losing my voice, which maybe is a good thing for you guys. However, I'm still here and I'm here to talk to you about the denial of the day. Today's comes to us from Casey of Longmont, Colorado. Insurance company has been awesome on car insurance, but heaven forbid if anything happens to your property. I have wind damage from recent storms and was approved for 49 shingles to be replaced and ridge vents. They won't replace the sheetrock that was soaked, but allows it to be retaped and painted. So my assumption is the wind created a storm caused opening and then got the, the sheetrock wet. We'll talk about that here in a second. Who wants to keep wet sheetrock instead of replacing it? I thought with insurance company, you were in good hands. I love my agent, but the company is greedy as heck and has left a bad taste in my mouth as I'm probably going to have to foot most of this other expense for the sheetrock myself. It's bad when I have to pay for the sheetrock for my family safety over a repair because they don't think it's part of the storm damage. They would not even send another adjuster for a second opinion, disappointed. Well, let's take it step by step and I gotta talk about this here. <clears throat> if there's a storm caused opening, the wind can lift up roofs. I've seen all sorts of crazy stuff. And depending on the wind, it can do some amazing things and it is super destructive. So I could believe that wind here in Colorado and other parts of the United States can lift roofs off the trusses and moisture can enter in the storm created opening okay if that is the case and your policy covers it it should be paid for this is why you need to get a public adjuster like us involved when you need to push back against the insurance company this is the deal insurance companies know that you don't do claims very often if ever so your lack of education is only to their benefit. So you need to have somebody that is educated and can fight for your best interest on your team. Call us, bellatorclaims.com or get on our website and give us a call from, from the phone number. <clears throat> then the next thing was, I love my agent, but my company is greedy. This is what I talk about all the time. I truly believe the vast majority of insurance agents want to do the best things for their clients. They sit down, they talk with you, they ask you about your goals and what your needs are, your family's future goals and progress that you're gonna make, right? Because that goes into what services they can offer you for a benefit, but also for them, it's a benefit. And that's what we call a win-win situation. They win because they get the business, you win because you're covered properly. So I truly believe the insurance agents do have your best interest at heart. Now that's not always 100%, right? But I do believe the vast majority do. But when it comes to the claims department, it is a completely different department. Your insurance agent that you talk to on the phone or go visit with in person is not the same person that's making a determination on your insurance claim when it comes to your property, your commercial, residential, industrial, property insurance claim. They're not making the determ determination that somebody sitting usually at a desk in a different state making a decision on your insurance claim. And then this part really makes me angry in regards to they would not even send another adjuster for a second opinion. Why? Why wouldn't they? Sometimes, you know, if you have the same damage and you have the same argument and you're saying the same thing, I don't know, is it warranted? I think so in any time that the consumer is at least not happy with the resolution, they should send out at least one more for a second opinion. Now if you're asking for a third or a fourth or a fifth or a sixth inspection, you better be able to prove the new damage that you're seeing so you can show the insurance adjuster which then sends the information to the carrier. However, if you're just asking for a second opinion from a different adjuster, I think that should be granted and there's ways you can get that to be done. So my question to you is, do you have a commercial, industrial or residential property insurance claim that you need help with right now in Denver, Colorado, Northern Colorado, Colorado Springs? Contact us today, bellatorclaims.com.